What does it take to capture the stars using a crop sensor camera in the middle of nowhere? Right now, I'm in San Antonio. It's four o'clock in the morning and I'm headed, about to go head out to Houston. However, there's gonna be a quick stop that I'm gonna be making. So this one right here, this spot right here, that's San Antonio. This spot right here, that's Houston. In between, you'll notice how there are these two patches of dark areas. Essentially, those two patches are the darkest skies that are available between the two cities. Dawn is about 6.40 in the morning, so we have about two and a half hours. And so this time of year, uh, the things that are available in the sky right now, at its peak, you have Mars, you have uh, Venus rising, you have Orion rising, as well as the Andromeda galaxy. Now, I don't know how much of this stuff I'm actually gonna be able to capture. Let's hit the road, and in about 40 miles, uh, we're gonna be on location. So, let's get to it. <laughs> Yo guys, so check this out. The skies right now are absolutely just ridiculous. <sighs> Look at that. Look at all those lights. That bright one right there in the middle, that's Venus. And then we just turn our sights over here Boom, we've got Orion, look at that. We got the three, boom, Orion. I mean, this is crazy. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So the idea right now, uh, in fact, because I have this really, really fast lens, I'm also gonna do, uh, try to capture some of the star shooting with this. So let me break out my app, I set up the tripod and make this happen. So I just wanted to kind of uh, showcase to you the settings that I'm using right now. So what you're seeing here, this is essentially the night sky that my phone is seeing. It is absolutely ridiculous. Now my phone obviously cannot see it, but dude, like I am, this is like, this is what my camera sees. I can see maybe half of that, right? So this is, is just crazy, the amount of stars that are visible. And so what I've done is I open it up all the way, I focus to infinity, and I set my uh, exposure to be eight seconds long. Although the, the environment that I'm in is uh, special, extra dark, these lamps, they're actually causing a lot of light pollution in this little spot right here. So uh, for that reason, uh, I just gotta be cognizant of that. Um, I could even bring it down to uh, 200 ISO, hit that, bam. Eight second exposure, and uh, let 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 it let it go, let it go, and boom, done. Here's what we got. It's pretty dope. I mean, this is crazy how much detail there is in Orion right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up for a actual uh, 4K video time lapse. Let's go to video mode. Boom, select that. I go to menu, and then from here the first menu time-lapse is disabled so what I have to do is first I need to go to uh, um, Wi-Fi and I have to disable Wi-Fi when I disable Wi-Fi that's where time-lapse will be re-enabled time-lapse there you go scene one uh, two-second interval let's just bring it down to uh, I don't want to wait 30 minutes so if we wait 10 minutes. Okay, let's wait 10 minutes. That's gonna be the setting. And let's watch a time-lapse of Orion. So I'm gonna frame this up real quick and done. And now what's gonna be happening is uh, Orion is essentially going to be rising. As you can see, I'm starting to lose daylight real fast. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to see if I can capture a little bit more uh, using this. It's gonna be like a sunrise Let's see if I can capture this before it gets too bright out. The sun right now is rising in the east as we slowly focus into the distance. Now, that bright star up in the sky over there, that is actually, uh, it's actually Venus, as you'll notice here. And bam, see, that's Venus right there. And now one thing that you'll also notice as we turn around, we point up, you'll see that there's Mars. 
and let the thing focus into the distance. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Boom, there we go, that's Mars, way in the distance over there. It doesn't look as red, red as it does. But that's essentially it, early morning before sunrise, you can see Mars, you can see Venus, and the sun rising right there in the distance. So that's basically where we're at, folks. Things to keep in mind. Uh, I thought I was gonna do three lenses. Uh, actually, I thought I was gonna start with two. Uh, and then I uh, got a little bit uh, ambitious and decided to try to do three. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the amount of time that you have to be able to capture the stars and the sky is not a lot. It's like once you get here, you got to find the appropriate spot because there are lights and things like that. I'm in a rest area, uh, I think off of exit 168 from I-10 going east towards Houston from San Antonio. I think the key thing was I did not anticipate uh, the thought of like, hey, you know what? I want to be in a spot that's going to be safe. It was interesting because if I stepped into the shade, I could see all the stars. I stepped out of the shade uh, and into the, uh, the, the lamps that we have, uh, like right over here, right? Like yeah, just that alone uh, would result in half the stars just disappearing. But as soon as I got to the 16 mil, it was, uh, the sun was starting to rise and the sun is coming up pretty fast. So let's go ahead and hit the road. Let's see how much of the time lapse I can capture uh, on the route to Houston and so see maybe we can catch the sunrise.